So we are now at our keypad. We've removed the face. This is our old Destiny Apex keypad. It had our built-in speaker, so when the doors and windows opened up, it would tell you what zone went off. It's why we have six connections here instead of the typical four keypad connections. And what we're going to do is remove this back plate, take a look at the hole size here to make sure that our 6160V programming keypad with voice that we're going to use to replace this existing keypad is going to have a good spot to install. So we're just removing these screws. Most keypads, especially with the Honeywell, you're going to have a, ba a, bit, a back plate that can be removed from the front, like this one. And you use the back plate to mount it to the wall with the screws and the wall anchors. And then you simply fix the front part of the keypad to the back plate. That's how you mount in your keypads. Once we got all these screws removed, we can take a look at how the original hole was cut out for the original wiring so we can plan the installation of our new keypad. All right, keypad comes down. All right, and what we're going to do so we've got actually a very s small hole here, which is good. We've got our old 6160, or our new rather, 6160V, which actually has almost a perfectly matching hole, and it's actually going to fit in really nice. It's going to cover up all of our old existing area. You're going to be able to have your flip down door, all of your keypads. So, should be a nice clean installation, luckily. On the 6160V, at the bottom, you've got these two tabs. So we use a flat head screwdriver, push the tabs down, and remove the back plate hinges at the top and we've got our front keypad and our back plate. So we want to align this in such a way that it's going to hide as best we can here. The keypad comes with some screws and some wall anchors in a baggie. So we'll set those aside for now and we're going to try to mount this um, and mark our holes. You always want your system to look nice, so make sure we keep this nice and level. And we also want to make sure we're going to hide all of the remnants of the old keypad. So we're marking our three holes at the top. And we're just going to use one of the holes on the bottom. Hmm. Not sure that took. Let's see if we can line that up again. There we go. So we got our three marks and our one. We may actually just go ahead and do two screws here. And now that I look at this, um, we certainly don't want to have an issue drilling in and hitting the bottom of this drywall. Um, we also have to worry about the top here, so I'm going to just go just a notch above each of those holes. We've got our drill here ready to go for our holes. Like I said, I'm just worried about drilling here and hitting the bottom edge here, so we're going to try to go just a touch above there.
making sure the hole is big enough for the wall anchor. And then this hole here, we want to go a touch above to make sure it'll line up. Assistant would be so kind as to grab the hammer and we can hammer in our hammer in our wall anchors. So again, it comes with four. Three should be plenty to get this keypad in here. Got my hammer and my screws and wall anchors. Open up the baggie here. So we're going to do two at the top, one at the bottom, press them in, this is where we want to be careful not to damage the drywall, this is an awkward hammer. That nice and flush. successful in not damaging the drywall there. Grab our third wall anchor, push it in our bottom hole, hammer it in. Got them there. We'll use our wire strippers, which has a nice wire cut, and we're gonna snip all these wires now because we're ready to mount the back plate and we gotta get this out of here. Thank you. We're gonna cut these wires. Old keypad is gone. And if you remember from our control panel video, we did not use these two Actually, I don't remember, so I'm gonna reference my sheet. Of these six wires, we ended up only using blue. And again, these, th these wires were from our old Destiny keypad. So these two, purple, green, black, red, and, and white colors don't really matter. It matters about these colors, which are the ones that were landed back at the panel. So we used blue and green for our positive and negative power. So these two we want to keep. We used um, green and white and our yellow for our data in and out. So those are the four we want. We're actually going to snip these other two off so we don't need them. Eh, I'm going to snip over here. And we know they're not connected to anything on the other end, so we're okay to just leave them. Obviously, you never want to leave bare wire, but when we know exactly where these are running to, it's okay. We want to strip these four wires here. We'll go ahead and use this since that's there from the old keypad. So we just want to strip a little bit off of the end off. We got two stripped. We got three. And four. So we've got our four wires ready to go. We've got our three screws in our back plate. We're going to feed our wires through the hole in the back plate. Obviously, if we put it up without doing that, that would be a mistake. And we align with our wall anchors.
We got our two at our top at the top. And we've got our one at the bottom. Should give us plenty of connection so the keypad's nice and secure. You don't want to screw one down too much until you got the other ones in, so that's what we did. And go ahead and screw it down now. Again, having a hard time as a righty from this angle, but doing my best here. And finally, screw our bottom screw down nice and tight. And this keypad's not going anywhere. So we're going to connect all of these now. So this one again, this purple is connected to the green and white, which is going to the green data terminal on the panel. So we want to just screw this down. making sure it's a nice tight connection. We've got our negative uh, blue connected to red here. Goes to our negative terminal. We've got our green coming from our aux power going to our positive. And then our final connection is our yellow going to white, or rather, white connected to yellow going to yellow. Just give a gentle tug on each wire. They're all good. Fish this wire back up into the hole in the wall. So that we can close our keypad. I got it upside down, so we're going to hinge it at the top. So if you got these little tabs that hinge down, and it snaps shut at the bottom, and our keypad is installed. Our panel is not powered up, so you won't see anything on the keypad, but it is ready to be addressed and powered on. We're going to go do that and we'll be back here to deal with the keypad to initialize the system and get it going for the programming. Now we're going to show you at a front door installation of a Tuxedo Touch Wi-Fi now that we've installed our 6160V voice enunciation keypad. It's nice that this is here at the right in front of the garage door. When they come home, they open the door, system will speak. If any, if they're here, um, they'll be able to view faults, hear what zones are open all of that right before they leave. So we're good here, moving on to our next keypad.